Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, people. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> I know today is what we call Christmas. Yes, that's what they call it on December 25th. As the United States of America celebrates this day as Christmas, um, which has the word Christ in it. Christ and Mass. It's supposed to be full of Christ, right? Full of Christ. It's supposed to be full of Christ. Christ Mass. Christmas. Christ Mass. Christmas. Anyway, I just wanted to exalt the name Jesus. Now, with me, and I'm just going to be honest. I know a lot of people ain't going to like this, but... Uh, I don't, I don't like the idea of Santa Claus. I don't like the idea of trees because my savior was hung up on a tree. Um, hold on, I don't like that idea. I don't like Santa Claus because, you know, they trying to replace Jesus with Santa Claus, you know, because he goes around the world and he gives gifts to children. When the Bible says in Ephesians four that he was. He was he ascended to the heaven. They say that Jesus ascended to the heaven and led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. So Jesus is the one that gives gifts unto men. What kind of gifts does he give you? He gives you spiritual gifts, you know, uh, spiritual gifts that from, come from the Holy Ghost, prophecy and, you know, the gift of tongues, the gift of healings. It's just, you know, non just nine gifts of the spirits in Corinthians but anyway I just wanted to exalt the name Jesus me myself I'm, I'm not really big on Santa and trees and all of that um but I do like the, the idea of giving but not just one day if we're going to be full of Jesus uh if we're going to be full of Jesus don't just do it today okay don't just let it be about Jesus today if it is see the problem with Christmas is it got way out of hand to where at first it was starting off about Jesus and then but anyway it's, it's a whole pagan thing going on behind that it seemed like when I was smaller it was more about Jesus and then now you know it's all about buying and shopping and just a bunch of stuff and we don't want to live that way as Christians we we don't want to live that way in idolatry it's, it's just a bunch of stuff but anyway I don't I love the idea of spending time with family. I love the idea of, um, you know, giving um, because that's what Jesus did. I mean, John three sixteen says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and those who believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So I just want to share scripture with you because today I believe in and exalt in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to exalt Santa Claus. I'm not going to exalt a bunch of Christmas trees and all of that. We're going to exalt the name Jesus Christ today. So I'm coming from Philippians 2 and it says in uh, verse 10 or verse 9, it said, wherefore God also has highly exalted him. It says God. <laughs> Y'all hear that? It said, that wherefore God also has highly exalted him. God exalted Jesus. So if God exalted Jesus, then we supposed to exalt Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, we supposed to exalt Jesus. If you look at creation, look at the trees. Let me show you something real quick. Look at the trees right here. You see how they grow up? It's almost like they're raising their hands. Even creation exalts the name of Jesus. Even creation exalts God. So we're supposed to, though. We're, of course, God gave us a choice and he wants us to be robots. But even the trees exalt God. Even the trees exalt the name Jesus. Even the trees worship God. So we're definitely supposed to. So anyway, in verse 10, in Philippians 2, in verse 10, it's has highly exalted him and give him a name which is above every uh, uh, every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and that's all I wanted to give you today go spend time with your family hallelujah don't let this just be about uh Hallelujah. Don't let this just be about uh, shopping and, and, and uh, Santa Claus and um, trees and, and lights and all that. Don't, don't let it just be a bunch of idolatry. But if you think about it in Genesis, you know, uh, Eve looked at the tree 
Hallelujah. God bless you. Eve looked at the tree and she saw that the fruit was good. It was pleasing to the eye. It was good for wisdom. Sometimes that's what we look, you know, when we're looking at trees and lights, we look at it as, ooh, ah. You know, and we're really supposed to look at Jesus like that. Jesus is supposed to be our, ooh, ah. We're supposed to, to, to marvel at God. You know what I'm saying? Or stare at God, rather. We're, we're supposed to, you know, that's how we're supposed to look at Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for dying for me. Thank you for dying for us, Jesus. Thank you for your death and your bloodshed. It was just on a cross. And thank you for rising from the dead for So let's just thank Jesus. Not that it's his birthday today, because I don't believe he was born today. But that's just my belief, not to push that on you. If you believe this today is Jesus' birthday, then let it be Jesus' birthday. But I hope Christ is born in you. You know what I mean? The Bible said we must be born again. So if you want to believe today is Jesus' birthday, then be born again today. Hallelujah. <laughs> so God bless you. I pray y'all have a blessed day in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. And lift up the name of Jesus this day in Jesus' name. Amen.